9-11, where everybody in America, probably in the world, is glued to their television. We're watching these horrible scenes. In a secret bunker in Florida, they're scrambling, first of all, to confirm who's responsible, and two, what are we gonna do about it? And you would think that there had been something built up and something ready, there was nothing. The men of ODA 574 were really a, a cross-section of, of America. They were highly trained individuals had gone through years and years of training to become Green Berets. ODA 574 was led by a, a captain named Jason Amarine. He was from Hawaii. He was a West Point graduate. The initial plan was for this one team to go into the South and build a militia and then take a town, the capital of Uruzgan province, called Tarancote. And from that, it would be a demoralizing blow. Uh, Tarancote was considered the, the heart of the Taliban. For the men of ODA 574, when they were first tasked with the mission and heard the name Hamid Karzai, they immediately just thought, warlord. They didn't know who he was. They didn't know what his support was, and they sent a 30-year-old captain to Pakistan to meet with this man and decide, was this budding rebellion worth risking the lives of Americans? The minute they touched down, everything went to hell. The team had planned to spend months, maybe six months minimum, to build this rebellion, this militia. But then literally one day after they were on the ground, a small town rose up against their Taliban mayor and hung him in the streets. So it was a very sketchy situation, and there was a lot of weight on the shoulders of this one captain, and immediately they had a choice. Do we abort the mission? Everything we've planned for the last 10 days has gone out the window, or do we take the fight to the enemy? It was estimated that there were a 1,000 Taliban coming, 50 to 100 vehicles coming to put down this village and, and slaughter them. ODA 574 stands beside Karzai with his militia, 11 men, with a handful of guerrillas against a thousand hardened Taliban fighters. And they win, and they drove them back to Kandahar. And literally the next day, Karzai had credibility. Not all the men on ODA 574 came home. And the big question is, was it worth it? Was it worth dying for? ODA 574's work with Khamid Karzai in southern Afghanistan resulted in Karzai being elected as the first democratically elected leader of Afghanistan in history. There wasn't a man on ODA 574 who did not believe in this mission.